to our first segment of the Daily American Kitchen, where we're not in the kitchen, we're outside, but we're preparing a brine. And a brine is just a salt sugar solution that you use to cure or pre-season meat. And in this case, we're making a brine for a feral hog ham. So we're going to start with pre-measured ingredients. How cool is that? A little bit of kosher salt. We're going to use, uh, for the sugar portion, I've selected to use honey, which now, thinking back on it, was probably a poor decision, but hey, it's a learning experience, right? So, half a cup-esque of sugar, your choice. and all of what your flavor profile, what you want it to be. New gloves. <laughs> all right, we're gonna throw a little coriander in there. I don't know how much. This is <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go. Okay. The coriander is supposed to be used in place of star anise, which we don't have and cannot find. So, uh, with that, we're going to put a little water in. The total usage of water is supposed to, <laughs> <laughs> is supposed to be somewhere around a gallon. So now, I'm going to take all of this and stir it until all of the salt and sugars have dissolved. All right. All right, so surrendered and got a whisk. Now that we've got all the solids dissolved, we're going to take a few bay leaves, throw in a little bit of our black pepper. This is the other half of the seasoning substitute for star anise. No idea how much to use, so we're going to use about that much. Give that a quick whisk through. And that is going to do it for our brine preparation. I lied. I've got a little bit of a sweet tooth. So, spur of the moment, we have decided to add a little bit of brine sugar. And we're going to go with about that much. All right. And that does it for our brine preparation. Next. Let's prepare the meat. New glove. All right. So, this is our feral hog ham. Ugh. And I just got yesterday. A little sticky. And it looks pretty good. We've only got a few little hangly bits that we need to trim. And we're going to be deboning this ham. We're going to take the bone out. We're going to look for the lymph node and take it out. And let's go ahead and get this trimming done. And that should be all the preparation we really need to do. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, I've never deboned a ham before, but my gut tells me to go on the inside of the thigh, right next to the bone, and just split it. Straight up that muscle. Whenever I can feel the bone, that's where I'm traveling. Right up that thing. Oh yeah, look at there. Bone all the way. Now I'm just going to take my knife and go around the bone. Of course, this goes without saying you want a sharp knife to do this with. All right, and we will catch back up with you once we have it fully deboned. New glove. All right, so what we've got here is our ham fully splayed out. 
That's all the bone that we removed. We're not going to waste this. We're going to smoke it just the same. And uh, I'll either save some of this shreddings for like a, maybe a single serving pulled pork sandwich. Or that would have been some, is that also buco? I hate to say that. I don't know how to say that. But anyway, that was part of the shank there. Probably smoke these together unseasoned and either make a sandwich out of it or a soup or probably dog food. Um, but that's really all the waste we've got, which ain't, you know, very much. Now we've got a boneless ham. This gives you the opportunity to go through here and cut out any, like, swollen lymph nodes is what I'm going to call it. Um, or any hard parts of tendon. Uh, or anything that would just be generally undesirable inside your ham. This will also give you the opportunity, if you're doing a short cook, to pre-season the inside of your ham. So if you wanted to add salt to it, if you were going to cook it like right now, didn't really have time to brine, this would be the time to go ahead and put some seasoning inside of your meat. That's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this and put it into our brine, and we're going to brine it covered in the refrigerator until I get home from lunch, for lunch, from work tomorrow. So, let's take our ham. As you can see, this was a healthy hog. That's still a massive, massive ham. Take a brine. That's looking good there. Roll it out. And there we go. Tomorrow, you're mine. So, thanks for stopping by for uh, this segment of the Daily American Kitchen. Uh, look forward to seeing you back on the channel again when we smoke this bad boy up and serve it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button at the bottom if you have any suggestions for a future cook or anything else you'd like to see on the Daily American. Leave it in the comments section below. We'll catch you next time. Peace.